Good evening everyone! Welcome to Debate 2. Ah, debate 2 na. Between our guests tonight, Mr. John Albert and Mr. Don Pais, nicknamed Trila and Aichila by our friend Neil Santos. Where's Neil Santos? Yeah, yeah. is brought to you by the Humanist Alliance Philippines International. Happy Joe Pascal <laughs> Co-sponsored by American Atheist Inc. The Agora. Where's John Paraiso? The Agora and of course Queen Manzana's I Chill Cafe. So before I call on our our speakers tonight, I'd like to call on Mr. Queen Manzana just for Few opening statement being my co-host tonight. Hurry! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it. Thank you. Okay. Oh, but I'm gonna really breach here or something. Oh. Um, <laughs> no. Well, it's a big honor for Rachel to to have you all here. This is the I think the time this room has been most packed, and then we have to say there's more people downstairs. So wow. Success, not on success. It's uh, it's great to have Happy here. Thank you, Jing, Joeng, uh, everyone, and American Atheist. Thank you for sponsoring us. <laughs> yeah, um, I think it's very important that we get the morality debate out here because some people believe that. that well, this is my personal thing. Moral is moral universal because I think what was good for I mean it's very easy to say what's what's good for the spider is bad for the fly, right? So even most people in the world think some things are very bad, like killing, for example. Almost ninety-five percent of the people I know agree that that's bad. But that okay, I'll, I'll be the devil's advocate here. If there's no sin about that, is that bad? If it, if your profession is being a killer or a soldier, is that bad? Was it bad for the Nazis, who most people hate to kill the Jews? That was their job, that was their idea, that was their mission in life to clean. That was they, what they believed. So, who are you? to say if that was wrong or right. So I'm putting some extremes there. But <laughs> well, that's what the, the debate today is about. So, well, so, well, thanks a lot. Let's do it. <laughs> Yay. Okay, thank you, Puya. Uh, Happy is also working with several special projects. I'm, I'm supporting this project personally. Uh, so I'd like to call on my good friend, Mr. James Mangun, for Operation Freedom Lab. This is a project that I personally support, and I'm having happy support. Uh, few words, sir, for Operation Freedom Lab. Okay, so um, thank you very much, um, Don, for the um, invite. And um, the reason why I want to, I'm here is because I, I wanted Don to invite me to do a little thing on Operation Freedom Lab. Because said, regardless of Quantum group dial, like if you're happy or badass or whatever, um, you know, we all have our common goals. You know, we want to make something happen. I mean, aside from the debates and the drinking and all that. And, <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> that's part of everything. But anyhow, um, Sigurd, the reason why um, I'm here is because I wanted to give you, yeah, some little background about Operation Freedom Land. It's basically our project in the Spratlys. In the, in the South China Sea, because again, that might need to be issue because you have all the, you know, all the fighting between the nations and they see. But go as I started thinking about this project in 2012. Now, instead of just you know reacting to what's happening, why not you know do something? The same problem aside, that there's so much reaction, but there is so little action. So, me and Carlos Seldran and a few friends came up with this idea. And one of the pilot projects that we have, which is supported by um, Don and Happy, is to provide um, goods to the people and uh, provide a solar desalination unit where they can treat the water from the sea. And that's one of our pilot projects right now. And currently, we are still um, 
we are, you know, we are basically doing a donation run. We're, we're trying to raise donations to make it happen and I'd like to thank um, Joey Xiao Sita over there for making it happen because he donated two solar desalination units and by either next week or the end of July we're going to go out there in Stone Avenue and it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to make news. And uh, right now, uh, yeah, I'm thankful to all the donors um, and everybody who's helped, some of you here, and uh, we are still accepting donations and we have this cool t-shirt that we're selling for the uh, mission and yes, yeah, so the main purpose of that um, is to help those people out regardless of who a disc or whatever. And yeah, that's just pretty much it and thank you very much for giving the Cheers! Why did Jesus is? Okay, so uh, last, uh, last, last, uh, before we start with the debate, I'd just like to call one special guest uh, uh, He represents the LGBT community because you know Happy is also supporting the LGBT movements and LGBT efforts. So just a few words, uh, Miss Isa, maybe you can come over to the stage just for a few words. Uh, give, give, give way, give way, please. I don't know, a few, few, few messages, what, what have you been doing in Manila lately? Red carpet. Red carpet. Because, uh, I heard you're, you're going to the Senate on next week, you're going to... Yes. Uh, Adam's okay. office. Okay. Uh, just, just a few words for. Uh, anyway, he, he traveled all the way from Botuan just to view. Wow! Wow! wow. Okay. Happy, happy. Okay. In behalf of the the first and only sick registered LGBT organization in Botuan and Caraga region, my name is Isang Simashu Bakasos and Sam. Of the ATS and agnostics here, I already met last ASEAN Humanism Conference in Cebu City. And we are inviting you to attend the first, uh, no, not the first, the 2014 Philippine National Conference and meeting on SUGE, that's Sexual Orientation, Gender Identity and Expression, and the HIV AIDS training that will be on August 7, 8, 9, and 10 in Butuan City, Philippines. That's the northern part of uh, Mindanao. And we're in the preservation of the body of the, la the largest crocodile pound in the Philippines. Lolo is still there. And don't worry about the security because for, apart from the news that you heard or the watch that is more on war notes, that's not true. We are secured there. There's a peace and order situation in the Plan City. And in fact, the Humanist Association of the Philippines, I'm going to predict the, the definition or the term. Uh, the Humanist Association of Philippines Alliance. Uh, Alliance Philippines International is one of the major sponsors and recently Senator Bam Aquino um, sent us the official message of congratulating us and Senator Chis Escudero um, the Department of Internal uh, Department of Interior and Local Government issued a memorandum to those who are working at the LGU. So if you're working at LGU, you'll be allowed to join Child in your local government plans. So uh, in the part of the CHEN, the Commission of Higher Education, the CHEN already issued a memorandum uh, allowing the, the workers, or the, ex the education workers, teachers, uh, instructors, and uh, working at higher institutions uh, to attend the national conference. That's trying to their respective parents. So I hope um, because Kevin, Aki will attend. Um, si de pa bang pwede do balo do? I hope na and sa patas sana meron kasi nagpatas ako nate. Balo ko nga tinga yon. So regarding your registration, as that's a small amount, it's 5,000 pesos, exclusive of your four days stay in Mutuan City, including your food and your room. Mm. Um, the, the plane tickets will be sold separately, and if you if you wish to go there, then if you want to avail the small, uh, the lowest fare for Cebu Pacific, uh, we, you can contact us because we can arrange your um, airfare <coughs> through Cebu Pacific, because London Caraga is also a corporate, corporate account holder of Cebu Pacific Air and Tiger Airways. 
no additional charges, no service fee in terms of airfare. Uh, for more uh, information regarding the National Conference, you may add me on Facebook. I have two Facebook actually. Uh, both the same name because I'm in demand. <laughs> Sorry for that. 5,000 friends on the other Facebook and the other one is available for Pusha. Thank you, Sir Joby and Kevin. And I will be here until July 16 because World Bank is inviting me also to update the youth discussion on um, climate change. And by Monday, I will be at the Senate because of the the National Conference and Sochi in Asia. I'm proud to be part of Happy. Thank you. Hey, so see you uh, Some special guests. Some about, but I don't think he's here. Uh, some uh, Patas members, Patas officers. Thank you very much for supporting this event. See Reggie, Reggie Passion, Dom Dom Testemula, Ajakir, Sirat. And Mark Flores. Of course, special thanks to my friend, Mr. John Paraiso. Aurora <laughs> and Pinoy Atheist. Aurora. And Wala yung professor mong Atheist. Wala yung professor mong Atheist. Wala yung professor mong Atheist. Wala yung professor and of course, okay, thanks to everyone. Now, I'd like to introduce, Madam Abilisa, I'd like to introduce our debaters tonight. Uh, okay. Careful, it's Okay, I'd like to introduce Mr. Don Paez first, my friend, Don Paez. Uh, he's a member of, of PATA's Board of Trustees, a uh, member of the Philosophical Association of the Philippines since 2002, uh, major in philosophy, master's degree in philosophy, uh, Tomasian State Debaters Council, Realm of Thought Moderator, Sales Coach, Financial Advisor, and Business Unit Manager. Uh, uh, every, everyone, please welcome Mr. Don Byatt. John Albert. John